take refuge in the one bright mind. Let's talk for just a few minutes about meaning in life, something that everybody is interested in. What gives life meaning? What gives our life meaning? And there are several things that give life meaning. They're very obvious. First is, if we have a task with a goal, it gives life meaning. So we have to get the meal out. It gives life meaning. We have to earn a paycheck. It gives life meaning. So some people, their whole life is nothing but one task after the other. And that it gives their life meaning. It's fine. But that's not the only way of finding meaning. Another way of finding meaning is through relationships. So we have the connection with people, connection with our partner, with our children, with our friends, meeting people for lunch and for dinner, meeting people just to talk, to connect, gives life meaning. Now, if the heart is, heart is kind of hard, it doesn't give people much meaning because we're not able to make contact. But what if we're able to make contact with people, that contact itself gives us meaning. It's something that draws us. Uh, and if we take that a little bit larger, then love, the feeling of love, the feeling of loving kindness, the feeling of universal love, the feeling of personal love, ha is, has a, a sense of rightness, appropriateness, a sense of meaning all by itself. It doesn't need a need. Um, relationship needs a person. This kind of love does not need an object. The meaning of love is love. It's a different level of meaning. So when people are doing loving kindness practice, when people are doing Tonglin and metta practice, the very fact that we can feel that deep love for the way things are, for the world, for the love itself, offers meaning. Another level of meaning to life is if we have a mission, if we have a vow. We have the mission to become enlightened. If we have the mission, the mission to help starving children in Ethiopia. And we put ourselves into that large mission. That mission may have many tasks, it may have many different kinds of love, it may have many different kinds of connection, it may have many failures and successes, but if we have that mission, that's some, that deep intention in our heart, that gives our life meaning. So the intention to become awakened, the intention to help others, the intention to, to bring out the very best in yourself, the intention to become the very best one can be for the sake of others, provides life meaning. And then another level of meaning is when we touch the universal, when we touch the foundation, and we see that everything that comes from that foundation is a gift. Everything that comes from that foundation comes uh, because of the karmic circumstances that led to it. And the very becoming, the very arising, the very momentary experience, that experience that is meaning in itself. The very arising of things is meaning in that moment for that millisecond, and then the next millisecond, the next millisecond, the next nanosecond, on and on and on. That the very flow of life has meaning. So we can look at meaning at many different levels, and I think it's appropriate for a mature person to be able to hold all these levels of meaning the level of meaning of tasks, the level of meaning of relationships, the level of meaning of love, the level of meaning of a real mission and purpose in life, and then to touch the universal, to touch the divine, to touch the oneness of all things. So, may you grow in all those five different ways. <laughs>